Hello everyone, today we have a 2015 Beneteau Oceanus 31 that is for sale. She is currently sitting on a travel trailer in Davison, North Carolina and ready to be put back in the water or be transported to your port of call. So I wanted to show you an uh, overview of the boat and then at the end of the video I'll go through and open up every lazarette and uh, kind of covered and everything so you can see what's behind it. Apologies if I have to stop every once in a while. It is against a busy road and sometimes some trucks come by so it makes it a little hard to hear. So starting in the back here, we have a very large cockpit with room for two, four, six, eight, possibly ten adults easily. Uh, the boat is rated to have six on board, possibly ten on board, depending on how much luggage was there. Um, we have an oversized steering wheel that's leather wrapped with B&G electronics, the Yanmar engine control, manual bilge pump, some speakers for the radio, a transom shower, and then a nice size swim platform with a swim ladder. Uh, looking forward, we have the optional Harkin winches here for the Genoa's, the Genoa, sorry, and then the halyards and the main sheet over here. Another option that was done is all of the rigging and running rigging is coming back to the cockpit so you can do everything from the safety of the cockpit itself uh, whether you need a reef to sail furl the mainsail it does have in boom furling um, or you can furl the genoa so that all is here from the comfort of the cockpit we do have also teak seating here it is glued on, it is not screwed in, so there's no holes additional that could leak over time. There is a large storage lazarette here. I am right now underneath the what would be considered the main bedroom, which is a full-size queen, which I'll show you. And then looking forward, you can see that she is in exceptional condition for her age. She has not really been used that much. So going forward, we have the boom in the main, or the boom in the mast here, as well as the foil for the Genoa. We have all the blocks and everything for the rigging that comes back. We have a large sun sunroof, essentially, uh, window for the main living area. We also have a hatches that will open one over the dining room table and then one in the forward cabin. Lastly, up front, we have an electric windlass and a nice size bow locker. So looking aft, you can see she has a nice beam. Her beam is 11 feet 1 inches. Uh, it's not too wide to where it won't fit in a standard slip, but also wide enough that it makes it very comfortable down below. Again, you can see those nice Harkin winches and spin lock clutches and just the overall size of the cockpit. It is a very nice size cockpit for a 31 footer and plenty comfortable for 10 adults, eight easily without touching, uh, six would be incredibly comfortable or even a couple that just want to take a weekend or a week and go sailing. So moving down below, we have a folding entrance way where the vertical part will slide underneath the horizontal part and it all slides together making it very nice and easy and safe to lock it right underneath right above that is the traveler moving down below we have four sets of stairs into a very nice salon I apologize if there are any leaves on the ground. The boat is right now underneath a tree. It does have a cover for it, but it's hard to keep these leaves out. So doing a quick spin, I will start. Your main dining area is here with the leatherette upholstery. It's not cloth. It is like a leather vinyl substance, but it is very nice. This will fold up. And then there's an arm below so you can really seat a lot of adults easily forward of that it has an optional door uh, i will put a picture in here but the normal option would be just have a curtain there but this allows for privacy for the forward cabin 
The main cabin is aft, as well as the head for the boat. And then a nice large galley. Again, this is a 31 foot boat and the galley is quite large. I will later put the camera here to show you myself being six foot two using the galley. So that being said, I am six foot two, my head. I do have a little bit of room up here. Um, if you're on the upper six foot side, like six foot eight or so, it may be a little bit too small for you, but I am six two, I am perfectly comfortable. And the boat, again, feels pretty big for a 31 footer. So moving to the most important part, I'm gonna move into the main cabin. We have a, what they consider a marine queen. We have some sunshades, but it is a true, I would say almost a queen size bed that you can get on a boat. It's almost perfectly rectangular. There is a little bit of a curve there. There is storage underneath here. There's some storage back there against another window. You have a small hanging locker here, a lot more storage, another window here, and a access to the side of the motor. Looking forward, you can again get the idea of the size of the boat. We have a nav station here with places for your charts, BNG radio, 12 volt electrical control, 120 volt electrical control, little storage nook, and then the fusion radio and a 120 volt plug. This boat is also equipped with an air conditioner that will cool this area as well as the main cabin. Looking at the galley, nice size galley. Nice size galley. Again, I'm six foot one. I have plenty of room to cook. Jump in here to the refrigerator and then clean the dishes when I need to, or someone can be cleaning the dishes while I'm cooking. There's plenty of room, access to spices and all that kind of stuff. There's lighting, gimbaled stove, deep, deep refrigerator, which I'll show you right now. Deep refrigerator with a freezer area right there. So looking forward, we have the compression post. And then what they also have added was a handle because this is a little bit too wide to hold onto, but this is something you can hold onto if you're in a little bit of rough seas. And then going forward, we have the guest cabin where the sails are currently stored. And it is a pretty decent size for what it is. It's definitely not a queen. Um, this section goes right here. It makes it a full right here and then it's about seven feet depth wise. So a couple could be in here plenty fine. Two children would be also comfortable. There is a hanging locker here. There's air conditioning in the corner over there, St storage nook, and then all across the top, there is also more storage. There is a hatch here with a screen protector or a screen bug protector on it. The sails are very crispy still. Again, this boat has very little hours on it, so everything is in top-notch shape. Finally, moving aft, we have the wet head with an electronic head on it. Controls are here. We have the lots of mirrors so it feels big. Nice size room. The shower is here. Storage under here. Big window that the sorry, big window that this can be closed. Head. Access to the access to the motor. Access to the holding tank right there. And then the button right here to drain the shower. And finally. We have the motor. It is a three cylinder Yanmar with eight hours on it right now. Uh, it has had a full service and it has just been winterized. That's why the water pump has been taken apart because all of the fresh water has been drained from the, um, from the system. 
It also has a hot water connection, so it heats up the water heater. So whenever the motor is up the temperature, you can also have hot water both electrically and from the heat from the motor. Twin batteries, easy access, storage under here. So yeah, that's kind of an overview of this 2015 Beneteau. I am now going to start from the inside and work my way outside, showing you what all the cubbies and everything look like when they're opened up. So again, the Yanmar eight, eight hour three cylinder motor. Working backwards, there is your holding tank. Here is some more storage. Through halls and water lines, everything is labeled still, so you know what you're opening and closing. Refrigerator. Lots of galley storage. It is a French boat, so there is wine storage on board. Enough for three bottles, maybe more if you want to make a custom insert. There is some storage behind here. There's storage underneath the seats. Chart plotter, or sorry, chart table with storage. Little storage spot there. The windows do open up with little curtains. Again, more storage underneath the seats. More storage under here. Hanging locker. So I am going to open up the bilge. Just so you can see, I'm not going to open up everything, but I just want to show you the keel bolts. So we have some winterizing agent in there, but you can see the keel bolts are in amazing condition. We This has been a freshwater boat its whole life, so no salt water has ever touched this boat. Everything fits together. There are no creaks or squeaks or anything like that. We have a raw water, salt water, or fresh water for the sink, so you don't have to go through your fresh water holding tank. Gimbaled stove. And in the main room, we have on off and circuit breakers for the batteries. Large hanging locker with air conditioning line that runs right there, along with a 120 volt. There is storage underneath all the beds. This little, a little seat, storage cubby there. Again, really big area. Another storage cubby back there. Really big bed for, I mean, this is easily, easily seven feet, right? Just this one part. Um, I have laid in there. I'm six foot two. I am very comfortable. I am more comfortable on this than my personal sailboat. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for the interior of what I'm going to open. Air conditioning vent right there. This was that skylight I was telling you about. Big glass, no hazing or anything like that. And then this was another one of these screen ventilated spots. Little reading light radio system so i'm going to now go outside and show you some of the lazarettes so this is the main storage lazarette for the cockpit loads of room for lines or fenders or anything like that we have the cockpit table stored over there there is room to add a spinnaker storage here if you wanted or even more house batteries honestly if you really need them this just is a massive storage spot. And then access to the 
control panel for the Yanmar. Over here, which is the last part, which I'll show you, is a large life raft area. There's currently not a life raft with the boat, but there is storage for one, if you wanted to add one. Gas struts. So large life raft area. You have two bottles here, sorry, one bottle, room for two bottles of propane. And this can be repurposed for storage if you don't plan on carrying a life raft or whatnot. You also have access down here to add a hydrostatic release for the life raft if you needed to. That is there as well. That is it for this 2015 Beneteau. It is currently listed for sale at Ashley Yachts. You can check it out on the website or the link in the description below. Uh, I will update this video if it does sell, um, but it, it hopefully is a nice little tour of what a 31-foot Beneteau comes with and is equipped with.